Now let's create our footer part. So we are going to create this part here. And we have created this part on the header already. We just copy the header part and create the below footer area. To copy the header, just select the group and you can simply click over here. And, or you can use the shortcut key command C or control C to copy and press command K and type here footer. Hit enter and remove this group and paste our a footer above area this one and then select or add this below footer part let's copy here add after add row here and then hit enter Type here all all right reserved. Okay, I have to do it again. So I'm using keyboard shortcut here. Just keyboard. I am pressing tabs from keyboard, and also I use enter a lot. So this is the I think this is the designer name. I I I should keep this one to give him a credit here. Now, uh copy the privacy policy select another group a row here basically not group and hit enter and copy terms and conditions and paste here so we can add our page url later but as of now i'd like to use hash and hit enter terms and condition i'd like to use hash and hit enter so as you can see there is a pipe icons here which is uh, we called pipe this one this one let's add this pipe here add enter at pipe so you will find the pipe on your keyboard uh, i think it would be above the enter i'm using the short uh, small keyboard so i'm not sure if you are bigger if you're using bigger one but let me show you how you can or what is the pipe keyboard so this one is the pipe and you have to hold shift and press this key from your keyboard i hope you understand uh, to add this pipe here now let's select three of them okay so before select three of them let's select the primary row here and make it wide width and after that make it space between and now you can see if i select the inner row i could easily adjust the spacing between the pipe and the text here using the block spacing let's make it five pixel and now inside the group area add some space at the bottom area but before adding a space remove the margin here at the top and bottom you can see there was space at the top and bottom before removing the margin so if i hover over so when i hover over you can see the blue mark the light blue mark is referring to there is some margin because when i cursor take my cursor inside the margin area it will be visible let's make it zero and now add some padding at the top and bottom and x small looks perfect so let's take a look i think i have to add more let's add more padding uh x, x small looks good i think a small looks perfect also <laughs> let's save changes and visit our website so now it looks like this and if you take a look at here the border it's not displaying the full width area and the color is different rather than the header color the header looks full width that's fine but the color is different here and it's not full width we can do that 
we can select the color first from here just copy go to our footer and select our a primary group and first of all we have to remove the border from here and reset this one and now inside the row i would like to add the border here so we can add the border below row we can adjust the padding again it will a little bit time consuming but without doing that we can also add after and then type here separator so it's already visible here let's hit enter and we can use separator and inside the separator we can use group and drag this into the group area in this way you can see the separator has its own width and we can make it wide width that looks much better right and now select the group and reduce the margin by default it has some margin top and we have to reduce that margin first now as you can see it looks much better and the color looks perfect here so we have completed our footer part